come with me if you want. And why would I do that? Boys. Lots and lots of mortal boys to torment. Maybe you'll find the meaning of life at Baxter High. Oh, you had me at boys to torment. You are such a scene stealer. I've seen the whole first season. Prudence is incredible. What was it like for you to step into this character and just turn on your inner witch? It's been very empowering, honestly, because in my day-to-day -day life, I'm very bubbly, I'm very smiley, I'm a, I'm a really different person than Prudence. To really get to know Prudence and to learn her strength, to learn her confidence and her unwillingness to back down, she's really like no BS kind of chick. It's been extremely like a learning experience as far as my own womanhood and, and gaining some, some some gall. <laughs> Isn't that what you are? Half witch, half mortal. Stay with your own kind. I love the friendship that evolves between Prudence and Sabrina. Can you talk a little bit about that and the evolution of their friendship? Yeah, I think to start, of course, I think Prudence's grudge against Sabrina is simply that she is half mortal. And the Prudence really, I think, carries the history of witches deep in her heart. The fact that mortals have put so much discrimination against witches throughout centuries. They don't even know the glorious truth of what you are. I think throughout the season, as Prudence gets to know Sabrina a little more, she she learns to respect her resilience and her unwillingness to back down, and the fact that she's going to stand up for what she believes in. And there's like, no, you can't really fight that. You you, you have to respect that. So. It's, it's nice to see the way that Prudence is like, okay, you know, this kid's got grit, I can get with that. I swear to Satan, I'll tear you to pieces. Mm. Save it feast day. You're deluded. Girls. Girls. If there were to be a Sabrina Riverdale crossover, who would you like to see Prudence share a scene with? Ooh. I would love to see Prudence share a scene with Jughead or even Veronica. I feel like me and Veronica, like Prudence and Veronica could do some really like kick-ass stuff. Like I think that that would be dope. With pleasure. Lastly, what can you tease about what's coming next for Prudence? When we last saw her in season one, she's walking down the hallway, Breen has got her ice white hair. You get a little, you get to dig a little bit deeper into Prudence's story and learning where some of that um, rage comes from. You promised me, boys. I wanted you to be my friends first.